In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four circular infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first circle uh, with the animated icon and then you can add the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second uh, oval shape with a different icon and you can add the title and the detailed text. Then comes the third and the fourth and I've added a design which looks something like this. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, choose the circle hollow, just click it here. Go to the shape format, here I'm going to give the height and width as 4.85 and make sure to align center, align middle and the next step you can do is to reduce the, the width of the oval shape, the circle hollow. So I'm just going to reduce it. Maybe I'm going to keep it this much. Then shape outline, make it no outline. Then what the next step is I'm going to keep only the one part of uh, this uh, circle hollow and remaining three parts. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so for that go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering only one part of the circle hollow. Select the circle hollow first, hold the shift key, select the rectangle shape go to the merge shape and make it intersect so in this way you can see here i have just made it only the one part and the re remaining three parts i have deleted it okay so once this is done the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just bring this one here and put exactly in the center okay something like this shape outline make sure to have no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice so for the meantime i'm going to give this color then press Ctrl D to duplicate and now I'm going to give a different color here. Maybe I'm going to give a blue and then I'm going to rotate this one. You can see here rotate, flip vertical and exactly on top of this you have to place it. Okay, make sure that it should be like this. If it is, if you have any doubt, you can just zoom and then check. Okay, you can bring it more down. All right then duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d give a different color here i'm going to give maybe a kind of a purple here and then go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly on top of this again make sure that it is properly aligned and then press ctrl d to duplicate and give a different color here then rotate you can see here i have to make it flip vertical and put it here exactly let me just zoom and put it here all right so this this looks very much okay so if you want you can just keep it as it is or if you want you can just delete one part of this portion also here so for example what i'm trying to uh, do is I'm going to select both of this shape at the top press ctrl d to duplicate now i'm going to cut this one from this okay so i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one shape format merge shape if i make subtract it you can see here it is deleting from this one or i have to just select this shape hold the shift key select this one then go to the merge shape and subtract so it's very important which object you select first okay so now what happens here is i can move this one and exactly and i can put it here okay so it looks something like this if you want again zoom it properly and arrange it okay so likewise you can just do for the rest of the things what are the, the same steps you need to follow what i did just now okay it's not mandatory but if you do it that will look much better okay so anyway i'm just going to do it only one for only this one and let me just continue now so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add the oval shape so go to insert shapes from the basic shape select the oval shape just click it here 
again if you want to increase the size hold the control shift key and increase a little bit you can see here and you can put it here shape outline no outline shape fill you can select the white color but white color is not visible then you can go to the shape effects uh, and then go to the shadows and you can just give us some shadow effect here you can see here again right mouse click go to the format shape you can increase the shadow size also you can see here all right so you can increase like this i'm just going to keep it here then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose which is this one arc just draw the arc by holding the shift key okay and then rotate this one the how much you want all right and then put it here this is very big so i'm going to reduce the size by holding the shift key and i'm going to keep it like this okay and one end i would like to give a arrow ahead so go to the line and end arrow type i would like to give the arrow head here so you can see a small arrow head is visible if you want to increase the width of this one you can go there and increase the width here all right now it's very easy for me i'm going to select this one and this one press ctrl d to duplicate and put it here exactly and then this rotate this one the arrow goes downwards okay if you want the shadow effect to be the other side you can just change it also okay so now i'm going to duplicate this again i'm going to put it here align it properly and then rotate this one all right you can see here then the last one press ctrl d put it here and rotate this one all right so you can see here so the shadow effect i'm just going to change it maybe it should be at the top yeah and this also should be it here so you can just change according to your requirements so once this is done what you can do is you can add some icons you can go to insert icons add the icons here in this particular for example you can see here i have added the flat icons actually from the flat icons.com i have downloaded those icons or you can just go to insert and click on icons yeah so i'm just going to choose some normal uh, icon run some random icon basically so you can see here four icons i need i'm just choosing some random icons click insert move this aside height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 and select each one and put on top of the old shape here you can see here like this and then go to the insert text box equals or oh, first i'll just put title here make it bold okay then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one this is too much long text i'm going to cut it and give a gray color for this reduce the font size to maybe 12 and make sure it is aligned center uh, sorry align left all right and press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate or hold the ctrl shift key to bring it down either way okay if you want to duplicate press ctrl d and bring it here or if you want just hold the ctrl shift key and drag and drop here either way okay so you can see here the same way how we have done here it's been done here again if you want to add some more different colors some more options you can add it here so the next part is to do the animation before doing the animation it's make sure to select this and this and press ctrl g to group it or even the this arrow also select all these three and group it and here also i'm just grouping it so here also select and press ctrl g to group it so now let's start with this so the first thing will come as a blue color so i can just go to the animations enable the animation pane i can just make it either a fly in or fade or any animation so let me just go to the more entrance effects and i can just choose uh, maybe a basic zoom it comes something like this all right so once this is done click ok or you can just use maybe a dissolve in no it's not looking good also stretch i think let's go with the 
basic zoom and click ok and then i'm going to select this one add animation here also i'm going to select the basic zoom click ok and that should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this and then this text add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch from right and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this all right so now i'm going to select this one click on this select this one use the animation painter click on this and then the text here the text make sure this one should come from left okay so if i play now so you can see here the first option comes the second option comes okay if you want you can just give a wipe effect also here instead of this one so i can just go and change to wipe effect here all right so let me just go and choose the wipe effect and wipe effect should happen from uh top okay something like this if i play it comes something like this all right so i think wipe effect gives more uh, meaning to this particular slide so similarly you can just do the copy the animation for the rest of the options